So this is going to be one of the first problem solving questions we've attempted in area and volume. All right, so it's going to be on the circle, arc and sector. And the reason it's a real problem solving question is they just give you a picture and some words and you have to think of all the different shapes and you have to figure it all out yourself. So it's not as simple as just sticking things into a formula. You have to think for yourself. So we'll go through it. So we have a green field here, this green thing here. Um, and in the green field, there's a strip of landmines surrounded by a purple fence. So it's this circular strip of landmines, yeah? So you see that it, if you continue this purple dotted line, it'd make a perfect half circle in the field. And there's a smaller little half circle here. Obviously my drawing isn't perfect. Uh, the radius of the big circle is six meters and the radius of the small circle is four meters. And there's also a right angle there. And that's how kind of wide the strip is. So hopefully that's all the information uh, we'll need. So it's not super clear. You have to kind of discern some of it yourself. Uh, also, my drawing isn't perfect, but as long as you get the idea is the important thing. So the two questions we're asked is to find the length of the fence. So you have to find the length of this purple thing here, not the dotted line, just the solid purple line. And also we need to find the area of the grass in the fields. So that's everything that isn't uh, purpley dotted. Yeah, so all of this here is all grass. I need to figure out how much it is. So we'll start by getting the length of the fence. So part one, length of the fence. I'm going to draw our little shape out, so it's going to look something like this. Again, drawing isn't perfect, but it doesn't need to be. And we need to find the length of this shape. So I'm going to break this up. I'm going to say this is side one, this is side two, this is side three, and this is side four. Okay, so there are four different sides to this shape. We need to find the side, the length of each side, and that's the length of the, the entire fence. All right, so this is the length of side two and four, I'm going to write that here two and four is easy enough to figure out we know that it's going to be two meters because this long one here is six meters long here and then the shorter circle is four meters so that means the gap in between them must be two meters so i'm going to say is equal to two meters so that's handy enough now we just need to find the length of one and the length of three so this is a good way of breaking things up and to number them uh, it can be really helpful you can number them with letters as well if you want or you can i guess you call that lettering it so one Okay, what we have here is we have an arc. So remember in the last video, we are talking about arc length. The formula for the arc, the length of an arc on a circle is L is equal to 2 pi or multiplied by theta divided by 360 degrees. Okay, so we're going to find L the length. So in this case, or for 1, which is this big, bigger one here, the radius is going to be 6 meters, as we can see in the diagram. And then theta is going to be 90 degrees. Like we said, it's a right angle here, so that means 90 degrees. So that means I'm going to say that L is equal to 2 pi multiplied by 6 multiplied by 90 over 360. And that means that L is going to be equal to 3 pi meters, if you put that into your calculator. So that's our first one. That's for 1. And then for 3, then, I'm going to do the exact same thing. L is equal to... 2 pi or multiplied by theta over 360 and in this case or is 4 meters because it's a shorter one 2 pi by 4 again it's 90 over 360 and L is going to be 2 pi in this case 2 pi meters so if we want to find the total length of the fence we just have to add all of these together which is handy enough I'll do that in yellow down here so I'll say perimeter or the length of the fence is equal to, so it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So in this case, it's going to be, I'm going to do it in order. So 1 is going to be 3 pi meters, 2 is going to be 2 meters, 3 is going to be 2 pi meters, and 2, it doesn't really matter about the order, it's just, just to show you guys, 4 plus 5 pi meters, and if we want to put that into decimal points, we'll find that it's equal to 19.7 meters, 19.7 meters. Perfect. So that's the perimeter of the fence, or the length of the fence. So that makes sense? So it's about breaking the problem up into smaller parts. The next, we have to find the area of the grass in the field. So we're going to do the, the method we're going to do to find this area, we're going to do it a lot in all of our problems. So we can't directly find the area of this entire shape because it's not a normal shape. What you can do is you can find the area of the entire shape, the entire square, and then minus the area of the landmine field, and then you'll have the rest of the area. So uh, you'll see what I mean here. So we'll go down and we'll say part two. So the area first of the entire field is what we need to find. So we know, I'm just gonna draw this out here, that 
the radius of the big circle, like we see, is six meters, right? So if I add this in in red, anywhere from the center point here to the outside of the dotted line is going to be six meters. So that means this here is six meters, and that should be the height of the top. The drawing just isn't perfect. So that means the height of the park is six meters. I'm going to write that there, and then as well, here to here will also be six, and here to here will also be six, because again, that's the radius of the circle. So that means all together, that's going to be 12 meters. Yeah. So that means we have a park that's six meters by 12 meters. So to find the area of that park, it's just going to be six multiplied by 12, which will give us 72 meters squared. Okay. So that's the entire area. Now we need to find the area of the landmine strip. So I'm going to draw the landmine strip quickly out here. Okay, so this is four meters. Uh, I'll do a different color. This is four meters. I'm gonna say that this is six meters. And this is a right angle. Again, it doesn't look a right angle. So if we need to find this area here of the landmine strip, it's not so simple. There's no simple formula just for that little bit um, on a sector. What we can do, again, it's kind of the same trick we're doing here. So we can find the area of the big sector here. We can find the area of the small sector, and if we take them away, we'll be left with the landmine strip. All right. So I'm going to say um, big sector. I'm going to write it here. And again, the formula for the area of a big sector is equal to is a is equal to pi r squared multiplied by theta over 360 degrees. So in big sector, uh, r is equal to six. So that means a is equal to pi by six squared multiplied by 90 over 360 and then that's going to be all together will give us 9 pi meters squared so that's the area of the big sector then we need to find the area of the small sector so I'll go white for that I'm going to go down here small sector and uh, in this case again a it's the same formula pi r squared multiplied by theta over 360 degrees so in this case, we're going to have that a is equal to pi by 4 squared, because this time the radius is going to be 4 for this little circle. Again, multiply by 90 divided by 360. And that will give us um, 4 pi meters squared. Yeah, so that's the area of the small sector. So that means, again, the area of the landmine is going to be the area of the big sector minus the area of the small sector. So I'll go red again. So I'm going to say just landmine here. Landmine is equal to big minus small. So that means it's going to be equal to 9 pi minus 4 pi. And that's equal to 5 pi. And that means the area of the grass. I'll go green for grass. Grass is equal to, I'm just going to say the field. So this big area here, 72 meters squared minus the area of the landmine. So that's going to be 72 minus 5 pi. And if you want to put that into decimal place, then the answer will be 56, 56.29 meters squared. And that's our final answer for the amount of grass in the field. So that one's a bit of a long video. Um, but it is important, it's just the first of the few videos where we're going to start looking at problem solving. So how you can eventually find things like the area of the grass in the field by finding loads of other different things. So each formula we used, you know, it's all in the formula book and they're all simple formulas. It's just about how to mix them together and how to use them to get the answer you're looking for. So I'll leave it there anyway. In the next video, we're going to start looking at prisms. So those are just 3D shapes. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends anyway. So we'll see you in the next video about prisms.